Hot Wheels and Mattel saw the opportunity with the custom motorcycle culture to create the Rambler series of bikes. They were made in Hong Kong. This yellow and gold leaping line is called the Centurion. It's a three-wheeler chopper with a V8 motor that's just behind the driver. There is no room for a passenger. The handlebars are broken off and they're unfortunately missing. You can move the handlebars up and the jaw of the line would move. My driver is suited up with a monochrome silver outfit similar to what a knight would wear to battle. He has a helmet that partially covers his face like a knight and even has a mohawk style blade sticking out of the helmet. A very menacing looking guy you wouldn't want to mess with. I had a couple additional examples but I'm not sure if I gave them to my European cousin or if they're still located at my mom's house. In the 1970s there was a trend towards customizing vehicles. Vans were converted to plush man caves and bikes were upgraded to large motors and additional wheels to support the weight. Paint jobs were a large part of the customization. Metal flaking, pearl finish, and murals telling a story or creating a theme added to the personality of the vehicle. This culture has continued on even today with many shops and artists doing incredible work around the globe. It's nice to see Asians influence Europeans, influence North Americans and beyond. Young and old, steampunk to shabby country, it's fun to see what someone's imagination can create with rolling art. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below. You also may leave a comment and I will respond. Cheers.